It's that time of year again when we make food on a stick. And I have four easy keto kebab recipes for you that you can cook on the grill or in the oven. It's basically a full course meal because I have a dessert option too. Food on a stick is really my preferred way of cooking. It's minimal prep. You cook everything on a grill so you don't have to heat up your house by using the oven, although you could, and it's easy to clean up. So let's get to kebabbing so you can get dinner on the table fast. First, we're making some side dish options and they all include bacon because, well, bacon goes with everything, especially Brussels sprouts. This is a kebab version of a bacon wrap Brussels sprouts. The Brussels sprouts are dusted with a Parmesan garlic olive oil and weaved around strips of bacon. Before we get to threading, let's talk about kebab sticks. And you do have a few different options. There's metal ones. These are gonna be splinter free, but you do have to be careful when you remove them from the grill because they can get super hot from the metal. The wooden ones are another option, but they can cause splinters and can catch on fire too in the grill. So you need to make sure that you soak them in water for a few hours to prevent that because nobody likes a splinter in their tongue or their eye really for that matter. <sighs> Let's prepare the Brussels sprouts. First, cut these in half and remove any of the leaves that don't look good. Cutting them is just going to ensure that they're gonna cook evenly, plus it gets them super crispy all around. To this bowl, we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. We're gonna stir this to coat, and now we start threading our kebabs. Start with a strip of bacon and go through one end, then carefully puncture the Brussels sprout. Make sure you don't stab yourself because that Brussels sprout is tough, so it can be hard to go through. I didn't stab myself, I'm a pro. I've done this twice before. But if you're super worried about it, you probably could steam your Brussels sprouts for a little bit just to get them soft. And you don't have to wrap the bacon around this way. I tried different ways of putting the bacon on here, just wrapping it completely or just having a little bit of bacon in between there. They all work the same. It's just about presentation. Once your kebabs are made, you can grill these over indirect heat for around six to eight minutes. Or you can bake these in the oven at 400 degrees for around 12 to 15 minutes. You just wanna cook it until the bacon's crispy. This really is the only way I eat Brussels sprouts when they're wrapped in bacon. They are so crispy, juicy, and so, so good. Before we talk about our next kebab recipe, I wanna share another easy keto dinner option where most of the prep is done for you, and that is using Green Chef, who happens to be the sponsor of today's video. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company that helps you cook delicious food for your family. It has step-by-step -step instructions with pictures, and it includes premium ingredients that come pre-measured with minimal prep. There are options for every lifestyle from keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. It's delivered right to your door and has saved dinner in my house on so many nights when I didn't have anything planned. And I love how there's always something new to try so our meals never get boring. If you wanna try Green Chef, use my code KETOFOCUS135 to get $135 off across five boxes plus free shipping on your first box. Go to greenchef.com for more details. These meals are curated by expert chefs, like this one meal that I had. This is a play on shrimp and grits. It was absolutely amazing and really the whole family loved this. Again, go to greenchef.com and use my code KETOFOCUS135 to get $135 off across five boxes plus free shipping on that first box. Another side dish option is bacon wrapped asparagus. Here you wanna cut your asparagus into three pieces and the bacon into four pieces. I find it easiest to get asparagus that's a little bit thicker in the stock. If you get them too thin, it's too hard to thread, they break, don't try it, I've already done it, it doesn't work. Then you thread these onto your skewer. Once again, you can use whatever technique you want. You can wrap your bacon around each individual asparagus, or you could do asparagus bacon, asparagus bacon, however you want. Again, we're gonna grill these on indirect heat. These will take around six to eight minutes, but you could cook these in the oven at 400 degrees for a similar time. And these are so flavorful. The bacon really just is magical. Now let's make dinner. You've heard of caprese chicken, right? Well, we're gonna make a kebab form. Cube up your chicken, and you can use chicken breast or thighs or tenderloin, whatever you have, but they just wanna be bite-sized chunks. And then thread it onto your skewer, alternating with a cherry or a grape tomato. Then season with a little bit of salt, pepper, and a drizzle of olive oil. 
and then we're gonna grill these at indirect heat for five to six minutes on each side. Once again, you could use the oven and cook at 400 degrees for around 10 to 12 minutes. Once your chicken is fully cooked and your tomatoes have burst, it's time to remove them and let them cool for just a bit before threading two mozzarella cheese balls onto the end of each skewer. And then I like to finish with a drizzle of balsamic vinegar, olive oil, and some freshly chopped basil. Are you ready for dessert yet? The whole family is gonna love this one. We have strawberry shortcake kebabs, and these are keto. First, you need to make a cake, and the easiest way to do this is to take your favorite keto cake mix and prepare it according to the package directions. I'll have some of my favorites that I've used before listed down below. Once your batter is mixed up, pour it into a prepared baking dish, and I've lined mine with some parchment paper to make sure that it easily lifts up after it's baked. Once it's done baking, let it cool. And while that's cooling, we're gonna prepare our strawberries. All you have to do here is just chop off the tops. And this is an easy keto dessert that you can prep up ahead of time. So it's perfect for those summer nights and cookouts. Once the cake is cool enough to handle, then we're gonna cut these into bite-sized squares. Then we start threading. And you wanna alternate between the cake and the strawberries until you get to the end. And then I like to finish this with a drizzle of melted sugar-free white chocolate, but you could serve it with a side of whipped cream and then just dip your cake and strawberries into the whipped cream. I am so glad that I chose tonight to be dish duty. Mom, you're the dish lady. Yeah, you're right. If you're wanting more food on a stick, check out my keto corn dog recipe. It's a cringy old video of mine, but the recipe is the best and it's outrageous how much this tastes just like a regular corn dog. Click right here to watch.